the Irish Sun chases next. This is a two mile handicap, 0 to 140. And at the top, we've got Lions Raw for Paul Rhodes, Fresno Shadrach for Vinnie Gerard, Evelyn Carter, James Shea, Chantilly Lace, Kevin Minahan, Seductress Paul Rhodes, The Ranting Art, Graham Clutterbuck, Maslak Gacho, James Shea, Small Chances and Kazban Trip for Alex Cherry, Royal Salute for Craig Beckwith, Hollow Spear for David Robertson, Revolve for Darren Thompson, and James Way Friend for Ben Bonici. So 13 of them then. In this handicap, over two miles, the rain's still coming down, and they're called in, ready to go. And away they go then. And Seductress is one of the first to show with four roads back after a week off. And Maslak Gacho is in second. He's with Carter third as they sort themselves out and make their way to the first of just ten that they've got to take in this then. And Seductress is the clear leader, passing the winning post. It's a long old run to the first of the. 10 fences in this one with Maslak Gacho in second and Kazban trip third hollow spear is in fourth as they finally get to the first and the horse in second place didn't jump it well at all Maslak Gacho but got away with it and subsequently though led to Seductress now getting a five or six length lead as Maslak Gacho has dropped back into the pack in second hollow spear is in third as they get to the second and Maslak Gacho jumped that one much better they're all over that one okay in fact with Seductress the clear leader by five to Maslak Gacho in second hollow spear third the Alex Cherry pair are next small chances and Kazban trip then Lions rule in between them as they take the third and one or two mistakes and most notably, I think Fresno Shadrach towards the back wasn't all that full perfect. I don't think Hollow Spear jumped it all that well. Oh, there's a fall there this time. Lions Raw's gone. So the stable mate of the leader is out of the race. So Lions Raw departs early then. And Seductress and Maslak Gacho are clear of Kazban Tripu's third. Then comes Small Chances and Hollow Spear. Then a bit of a gap to revolve and ranting up. They formation of the field would suggest to me that they're going a pretty good clip and Seductress is in the lead as they get to fence number five good jump that time by Maslak Gacho sees it move alongside the leader those two are still clear of Kazban Trip Hollow Spear now been joined by small chances then after that one comes the ranting art and revolve Chantilly Lace is after that I just wonder if these two are setting this up for a closer as they get over number six because they're going lickety split and it's Seductress who leads by a length to Maslak Gacho in second Kazban Trip is third and Hollow Spear is four. Small chances is five as they get over number seven. That's the four from home. A stake towards the back by Evelyn Carter. But it's Seductress who's still in the lead. Then from in second place, Maslak Gacho. Kazban Trip is third. Hollow Spear is fourth. Then there's three of them in a line. Small chances. Chantilly Lays and Revolve. Bit of a gap then back to the Ranting Art. And another gap to Royal Salute. Difficult to see anything from the back. Really getting into it now. They've only got three to jump. They come down to this third last. And Seductress got over it in the lead. Gazlak Macho was slow. Back in third was Hollow Spear. Then came Chantilly Lays and the Ranting Art is making significant progress as they race down towards the final two fences. This is the second last. It's the final ditch, and Seductress lands in the lead, but a better jump by Chantilly Lace on the outside, who now comes through the challenge. It's Seductress who's been in the lead pretty much all the way, from Chantilly Lace in second. Kazban Trip is third, Revolve running around the outside, Maslak Gacho and Hollow Spear next, nothing else can win. They race down towards the final fence then now, and it's Seductress who's still in the lead. From now, Kazban Trip who's coming through the challenge, Hollow Spear is next. Suddenly, Chantilly Lace has got nothing left, they race down towards the final fence, and Kazban Trip has shot clear. Gets over last, jumped it slowly though. Hollow Spear jumped it better. And Hollow Spear is in hot pursuit on the outside, inside the final third on the go. Hollow Spear looks to be the stronger. But Kazban Trip is fighting back. Kazban Trip on his near side. Hollow Spear is trying to read it. It's a repeat of the last race almost. It's Kazban Trip who's holding on as they race to the line. And Kazban Trip takes it. Hollow Spear is second. Even if Garter from nowhere for third. Chantilly Lace was fourth. And Royal Salute may have been last, but it's. Another case where they couldn't get past the winner or the leader, it looked like. The horse in front was tying up and was about to be worn down, but as in the last race, the leader hung on bravely and Kazban Trip takes it for Alex Cherry. Hollow Spear for David Robertson was second, both of them from out of the handicap. He lift cart around like a train to finish third for James Shea. Sean Tilly Lace for Kevin Meenahan, flattered to deceive in the straight and finish fourth and revolve for Darren Thompson was fifth, never really got a blow in at all. And uh, Royal Salute wasn't last, Royal Salute was sixth. The horse that was last was small chances.